welcome. This is some yoga that you can do uh, at home, kneeling on the floor like I am, or sitting, or in a chair. And it's particularly good for if you've been working um, at your desk, working at a computer, using the mouse, keeping your body in at one stiff position for a really long time. Um, so you can do it still sitting in your chair at your desk. Maybe just push yourself back a bit so you've got a, lot of, uh, a little bit more room in front of you. So wherever you are, be in your seated position and take a couple of moments to settle yourself. Maybe let the eyes fall closed or maybe let the gaze just soften to somewhere in front of you and let your shoulders relax and then focus onto your breathing and take some slow, steady breaths in and out. One really good thing to do if you have been uh, using your computer quite a lot is to perhaps turn your chair so that you're looking into something that's further away than your computer screen during this practice. It's predominantly focused on the upper body. Um, there are other practices we can do for the legs as well, but this one's more for releasing tension through the shoulders and the neck and getting that mobility through the shoulders again, bringing some life and energy and yang into your shoulders and upper body. So taking one or two more slow, deep breaths here, preparing yourself for your practice. And when you're ready to blink, the eyes open, if they will shut. Make sure that you've got your gaze at something that's a little further away from you than what you normally look. Let the eyes have a break as well. Interlock the hands in front of the body, stretch the hands away, palms facing forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. A little bit of a stretch here, reaching with the hands and the arms, but not the shoulders. Keep the shoulders low so that you're not wearing your shoulders like earrings. And there's plenty of space for the neck. As you exhale, curve a little to one side. Feeling the abdomen switch on, the side body stretching. Inhale back to centre. Exhale across to the other side. Inhale back to centre. We're going to start a little bit of circling here. Circling the arms and circling the torso. So the arms and the torso are going in different directions. And you can make your circles as small or as large as is appropriate for your body. Pause and change direction, circling the other way. You could do these poses if you're sitting in a chair at work. Really nice way to open the body. Coming into stillness, take the arms a little bit further back behind you. The movement won't be large, but you'll feel it across the front of the arms and down into the armpit. And as you exhale, release your arms down beside you. Take your right hand down and stretch your left arm past your ear, curving to the right. And then bend that top arm, bringing the hand to the side of the head, so towards your right ear. And then as you inhale, lift yourself up and keep moving in that direction with the head, so that now your left ear is towards the left shoulder. Let your right arm stay where it is, or maybe open it out about 45 degrees, stretching it out to the side away from you. The hand isn't pushing the head. The head is letting gravity bring it to the side, and the weight of the hand is placing just a little bit of traction on the skull, but not so much that you feel that you're being forced into a stretch. Be gentle and kind to your neck. And as you next inhale, gently bring yourself up, 
and release the arms down. Tilt the head forward, stretching out the back of the neck. And bring the chin a little bit towards your right shoulder. Getting that space between the back of the neck and the side of the neck. Bring the chin back to centre. And take the chin towards the left shoulder. And bring the chin back to centre. Lifting your head back upright. You're going to come into that curve the other way. The right arm coming past the right ear, stretching and opening the side body. You can bend the elbow and let your hand rest on the left side of the head towards the left ear. Inhale, bring yourself back up to centre and keep that movement of the head going so that you're now curving your head to the right. The left arm can stretch out about 45 degrees away from the body and you can keep it beside you. Stretching it out will increase the intensity in the neck. Let the weight of the hand rest down, but not push. Keep both shoulders relaxed. We want to try and let the shoulder blades release down the spine. We're not elevating our shoulders here. Breathing into the side of the neck. And then as you inhale, release the hand, bring your head back up to centre. The shoulders a little roll. Maybe roll the neck a couple of times. You turn your head to look towards the left and the right. And whatever feels good just to release any tension that may have built up from that stretch. And bring your right hand or right arm in front of you. Fingers facing the floor and palm facing away from you. Take hold of your little finger with your left hand and put a bit of traction on that finger, moving it both downward and back towards the back of the wrist. Not so much that you're trying to snap your wee finger off, just a little bit of stretch. Keep all the other fingers engaged and the palm pushing away. But notice if you're hiking your shoulder up, try and keep that right shoulder down keeping space for the neck. Release the little finger and change to the ring finger this time. I've, I've got my whole hand wrapped around my ring finger and my thumb is resting on the back of my hand to give me a little bit of support. So I'm not just yanking that finger, but gently tractioning it both downward and backward. Nice stretch for the front of the palm. And then releasing that finger, changing to the middle finger. Again, I'm using a little bit of my thumb on the back of the hand to push against it. And pulling slightly with my fingers, opening and stretching. Don't take yourself too far here, just the appropriate place for you. Moving on to the next finger, your index finger. Pulling it back towards the forearm. Noticing if it that height has crept into your right shoulder and dropped the right shoulder down, keeping the palm open. And then lastly, the thumb, taking hold of the thumb, pulling the thumb away from the little finger. So it's out more to the side that we're pulling it and a little bit back. And then releasing, making a fist with that right hand, circling the fist in one direction and then the other, and giving shoulder a little bit of a roll. And then to the other side, reach your left arm forward in front of you, palm facing away, fingers pointing down. Take hold of the little finger. And place a little bit of traction on it. Notice how it feels different to the other side. My little finger on my right side was relatively stiff. This is quite mobile. I've got more room to move. Changing to the ring finger, release the little finger. Take hold of that ring finger. Pull a little back behind you and a little bit down. So you're creating space through the front of the palm. Changing to the middle finger now. Taking hold of that middle finger. 
stretching it back, stretching it down. These are all really good poses for people that knit, for people that use the mouse or the keypad, for someone that drives a lot, changing to the index finger. So it's great. Actually, for everybody, how often do we do this to our body? How often do we give our hands um, those appendages that get used so much some love and attention? And then moving to the thumb, pulling it away from the little finger, keeping the shoulders relaxed. It's really hard not to let tension creep into your shoulders. So just keep reminding yourself. Do so lovingly and kindly. There's no judgment here. And then releasing that thumb, making a fist with the hand, circling the wrist, maybe opening and closing the hand, bringing the other hand in. And we're going to make some figure eight circles with our arms. You can do the standing if you prefer to be standing for it. I quite like kneeling and sitting. So think about, we'll just start with the right arm. Think about what a, the number eight looks like and see if you can draw a number eight in the air in front of you. So that hand is ending up coming right down to the knee and then up past the head in your figure eight. Think about the direction that your figure eight is traveling in and see when you next come to the top or the bottom, if you can change and do the figure eight the other way. It does change the orientation the way the hand moves and the way the shoulder moves. Keep both shoulders relaxed as you're circling the arm through the air. And then when your hand next comes down, pause. We're going to do the same on the other side. It doesn't matter which direction you go first. Making a figure eight with your left arm now. You can go really slowly here. You can be very, very deliberate. If you're feeling that you need a little bit more yang, you can move a little faster. You can let the body come in on the action if you'd like to as well. Bit of a disco move. And then pause and change direction. Sometimes that's the hardest bit for our mind to um, understand is how to change direction when we're doing these interesting movements. And then, because I like to have a little bit of fun, Let's try and do both arms together. So I'm going to take my figure eight opposite directions. You might like to go the same direction with your figure eight. See how coordinated you're feeling today. What it feels like in the shoulders as well as what it feels like in the mind. And then pause and change direction. See if you can <laughs> come the other way. I think that my figure eight changed quite dramatically then. See where you get to. And then one last figure eight coming back to stillness. Your shoulders a little roll. Bring your arms up beside you, palms facing forward, and then exhale, point your fingers away from you, round your back, C curve your torso. Inhale, bring the hands back, you can lift the palms or have the fingers down. Exhale, round the back, pull the belly button towards the spine, and reach the arms forward. Inhale, lift the chest forward. Exhale, round the back. So it might seem a little counterintuitive to be rounding the back, but sometimes we need to go into the movement that we do most often to release it and to allow ease in the body. One more time, inhale up and exhale round. And then coming up into a neutral position, bring your fingers to your shoulders. Inhale, stretch the arms out. Exhale, bring the hands to the shoulders. Get that going a couple more times. If you do this long enough, you'll find your arms actually get quite fatigued. You want to stay within the realm of where your body requires you to work. One more time, opening, bring the fingers to the shoulders, pausing here, and then we're going to make circles in the air. 
we've done the figure eight rotation for the shoulders and now we're simply circling. And in fact, if you wanted to, you could circle in a figure eight direction here. Have a little bit of a play. What are your joints? What does that glenohumeral joint, the ball and socket joint of the shoulder feel like? Change direction when you need to. Maybe alternate the arms. Just let the synovial fluid into all the little nooks and crannies of the shoulders. And then coming to stillness, letting the hands rest down, relax through the shoulders. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Preparing yourself to return to work, if that's where you're heading, or to meet the rest of your day with whatever it will bring. Thank you very much for joining me today in honour of your practice. Namaste.